we're fortunate to have four different authors of the Gospels who each give us their unique perspectives of the life of Jesus Christ. In the next three videos, we will examine the Last Supper and the Savior's Atonement in the Garden of Gethsemane from the viewpoint of each of the authors. This week we'll learn from Matthew and Mark, then next week from the account of John, and finally read what Luke had to say about these sacred events. In Matthew 26, Mark 14, and John 13, Jesus told his disciples, Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Chief priests, scribes, and the elders of the people assembled at the palace of Caiaphas, the high priest, and consulted how they might take Jesus by subtlety and kill him. But these Jewish leaders said, Not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar among the people. Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' twelve apostles, went to the chief priest to betray him, and they were glad and promised to give him money. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, Jesus' disciples asked him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? He told two of them to go into the city, where they would meet and follow a man bearing a pitcher of water. They were to tell him, The Master saith, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. When they asked where the guest chamber was where they would eat the Passover, he would show them a large furnished and prepared upper room. They then went into the city and did what Jesus asked, and made ready the Passover. In the evening, the day before Jesus' death, he sat down to eat with the twelve. He laid aside his garments and girded himself with a towel. He poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, then wiped them with the towel. Peter asked, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? And Jesus said that what he did, Peter did not now know, but would know hereafter. Peter said, Thou shalt never wash my feet. And Jesus said, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Peter then asked him to wash not only his feet, but also his hands and head. And Jesus said, He that is washed needed not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all, knowing that Judas would later betray him. After Jesus washed their feet, he sat down and asked, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. He had given them an example that they should do as he had done to them. Jesus said, If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. He that receiveth whomsoever I send receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. Jesus was then troubled in spirit, and said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you which eateth with me shall betray me. They were exceedingly sorrowful, and looked on one another. One of Jesus' disciples, whom he loved, was leaning on his bosom, and Peter said that he should ask him who Jesus was speaking of. He then asked, Lord, is it I? And Jesus said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish shall betray me. He then dipped the sop and gave it to Judas Iscariot, saying, The Son of Man goeth, as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Judas asked, Master, is it I? And Jesus answered, Thou hast said, That thou doest, do quickly. No man at the table knew exactly why Jesus said this to him. Some may have thought that since Judas held the bag of money, Jesus had asked him to buy things they needed for the feast, or to give something to the poor. Judas left, and Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. Jesus said, Little children, yet a little while I am with you. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto the Jews, Whither I go, ye cannot come. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. As they ate, Jesus took bread, blessed it, brake it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. 
He took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Jesus then said that he would not drink the fruit of the vine until the day he would drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. They sang a hymn and went to the Mount of Olives. Jesus told his disciples, All ye shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter asked, Lord, whither goest thou? And Jesus answered, Whither I go, thou canst not follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. Peter said, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thy sake. And Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. Peter and all the disciples responded, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. They went to Gethsemane, and Jesus told them to sit while he prayed. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee with him. He said, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. Jesus went further, fell on his face, and prayed, O my Father, all things are possible unto thee. If it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Jesus returned and found his disciples sleeping, and he asked Peter, What, could ye not watch with me one hour? He told him to watch and pray, that he would not enter into temptation, then told him, The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went and prayed again to his father to let this cup pass away. Except I drink it, thy will be done. He came back and found his disciples sleeping again. Jesus left and prayed the same words the third time, then came back to his disciples and told them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is at hand that doth betray me. Judas came with a great multitude, carrying swords and staves, who came from the chief priests and elders of the people. He gave them a sign that whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him fast, then take him away. He came to Jesus, saying, Hail, Master, then kissed him. And Jesus asked, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then they laid their hands on Jesus and took him. Peter drew his sword and cut off the ear of one of the high priest's servants. But Jesus told him to put away his sword and said, All they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled? That thus it must be. Jesus asked the multitudes if they had come out as against a thief with swords and staves to take him while they had not laid hold on him when he sat daily and taught in the temple. He said that all this was done, that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all his disciples forsook him and fled. They led Jesus to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. Peter followed at a distance to the palace and went in and sat by a fire with the servants. The Jewish leaders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to put him to death, but could not find any, even though many false witnesses came. At last two men testified, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God that is made with hands, and within three days I will build another made without hands. The high priest arose and asked Jesus, Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witness against thee? Jesus held his peace and said nothing, and the high priest said, I adjure thee by the living God, that thou tell us whether thou be the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said, Thou hast said, Nevertheless I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. The high priest rent his clothes and said, He hath spoken blasphemy. What further need have we of witnesses? Now ye have heard his blasphemy, what think ye? They answered, He is guilty of death, and spat in his face, 
buffeted him, and smote him with the palms of their hands. Then said, Prophesy unto us, thou Christ, who is he that smote thee? A damsel told Peter, Thou also wast with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied her. He went out into the porch, and another maid said, This fellow was also with Jesus of Nazareth. Peter denied this with an oath, and said that he did not know the man. Others then said, Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech betrayeth thee. Peter began to curse and swear, I know not the man, and the cock crowed. He then remembered Jesus' words, that before the cock crowed twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. Jesus had given an earlier commandment to love thy neighbor as thyself, and now gave a new commandment to love others as he loved them. He washed his disciples' feet and showed by his example what it means to humbly lead and serve others. He took bread and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then took the cup, for this is my blood of the New Testament. Today, all over the world, priesthood holders authorized to act in Jesus' name also take bread and water, bless it, and give it to his disciples in the sacred ordinance of the sacrament to remember him. And this is Matthew 26, Mark 14, and John 13 in the New Testament. Look for hidden images located in the video. You can support PonderFund by visiting our Etsy site, PonderFund.com website, and our Facebook page to find more fun things to do. Please subscribe to this PonderFund YouTube channel and like and share these videos with anyone you think might enjoy them. Thanks again for watching and find some time this week to ponder.